We have two boys. Our youngest is Travis. Travis was born with developmental needs, as we discovered, on the autism spectrum. There was a family that I met through Special Olympics basketball that told us about this program, and we came in to be interviewed. And I can tell you, the day that we heard back that he had been accepted here was just like winning the lottery. As a parent and as an educator and as a community member, we are so fortunate to be able to spend our days with John Paul. I finally feel like we're somewhere that they believe in him. There's no day that Rachel say, I don't want to go to school, never. They're just the best friends you can have and seeing them succeed, there's nothing that can make you more happy. Catholic Church, of course, teaches the dignity of all human persons. Every single person is created in the very image and likeness of God. And so the Catholic Church is always looking to seek ways to serve pastorally and spiritually the children entrusted to our care. Three of our high schools have programs. Currently, two of our elementary schools have programs, and we are expanding that each year, and that's a real priority. It's part of our Catholic faith. At Bishop O'Connell, we have a way of making sure students are involved and included, and the parents and the families don't have to push that. It's already built into the, what we're doing. One period a day, I go with Adam to anatomy, and we go through the lessons like everyone else. It's taught me patience for sure. I have changed tremendously actually working with Henry. He's taught me so many things that apply to any situation. So he's one of the main reasons I want to come to school every day. We have amazing peer mentors. They're so nice. They look like a PPI family. Seeing them do great in their everyday lives brings me up and it brings everyone up. If every school had a program like this, it makes everyone so much happier. The growth of the program each year has really been remarkable. You just see this Holy Spirit working because we had faculty stepping forward, families stepping forward, charities stepping forward to help us like Porto. I'm so grateful to an organization like Porto Charities that will assist through grants in providing funding and help to families. It's not a matter of inclusion. It's a matter of living in community with each other. We didn't have the space. We didn't have the staff, but we made a decision three years ago to make space, hire the staff, and that's all it really took. If we can do it, you can probably do it too. Contact us and help any way we can to let you know what's ahead and how to do it, but it's definitely worth it.